What's up, y'all? So I'm going to give you a little tour of my solar portable power station off-gridding setup. Um, so far, it's working really well. I've only had it about a week or two, and I've actually only been officially testing it out today. So it's kicking some butt, though. I've got to say that. Um, the guy who helped me put it together, this guy named Brian Smith, follow his channel. Links down in the description there. Do it yourself or DIY outdoors. Great guy. Um, great information on solar setups, portable power stations. So check out his channel if you're looking to go off the grid. Anyhow, so let's start. Here we go. All right, so the first suggestion was to get the Battleborn lithium battery. Um, I don't know what model this one is, but uh, it was, you know, around 800 bucks or so. And so what that does there is because basically I'm really simple. I just wanted to be able to make sure that my fridge runs at all times when I'm off grid um, because I got some food in there that I don't want it to go bad, you know? So, so what that, uh, what the battery does is on my roof, where's my finger? <laughs> On my roof is a 100 watt solar panel that came with the camper. And basically what that panel does is it runs down to the battery over here, which charges the battery, obviously. And then that powers my fridge, which is a um, completely electric fridge. It doesn't go off propane at all. So um, we got that hookup going so that I can that fridge going at all times then because I wanted to be able to use my laptop um, you know for uploading videos checking emails doing some business and whatnot um, I needed to have some power right I'm not on electronics a whole lot but uh, I'm gonna be able to use them if I need to so this is the eco eco flow river pro 2 I believe and this is my portable power station I believe it's like 600 watts something or another and um, so what this is basically going to do is as you can see I've got my laptop plugged in here and then I've got my internet plugged in over there um, so and then you can charge this by either plugging into a traditional wall outlet uh, you can charge it through um, you can hook it to your battery but that doesn't make sense to do that <laughs> And then you can also charge it from your tow vehicle with the uh, DC outlet there that they have. And then you can also charge it with these 220 watt solar panels that come with it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just topping it off because for the next few days I'm going to be off grid actually I'm gonna be off grid for a while now that I think about it I'm staying at a bunch of different harvest host places on my travels um, but it's pretty much off grid situation um, so yeah there you go charging it up it's a great little system it's working out really well and uh, I'll go into my my internet in another video but uh, yeah two thumbs up Brian thank you appreciate it it's working great and uh, there you go. That's how you do it. At least I think, or hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs>